Hi, I'm Jay with Family Handyman, and I'm designing an off-grid solar system for our greenhouse. The lovely thing about off-grid solar systems is you can put them anywhere, an RV, vans, your garage, or in our case, this greenhouse. If you've wired a home stereo system, you can definitely handle this project. Let me show you how it's done. So with heavy gauge cable, I found the easiest way to strip the shielding is to use a knife and cut just a little at a time. So I made a handy little jig out of wood for my bench vise to hold the cable steady while I crimped the copper ends. So after I've got my battery terminals crimped on my cable, I'm gonna use a double-walled adhesive-lined shrink tube to seal up the connection. Here I'm making the cables that connect to the photovoltaic panels directly. These connectors are called MC4 connectors. They're male side and a female side. These waterproof connectors are used specifically for solar panel systems. I'm going to assemble my power distribution panel in the shop. It's just gonna be a little easier to do. I'm gonna start with the battery charger controller. I chose this battery charge controller from EP Ever for two reasons. First, the entire body is its heat sink. These charge controllers do get warm. This one will not. It will dissipate the heat very easily. Secondly, and more importantly, the lug terminals on the EP Ever are huge. They're very heavy duty. I'm not gonna have to worry about anything. I chose this 1500 watt inverter because it's gonna supply me with more power than I will ever need in this greenhouse. It's also a pure sine wave inverter. This is important when it comes to connecting delicate electronics like phones or computers. So the last two things I'm going to attach to my power distribution center is the battery shunt, which allows me to monitor the health of my battery and most importantly, the fuse block. So after completing the power distribution panel, it was time to head to the greenhouse. Now I've got the photovoltaic panels mounted on the bracket to the greenhouse. The next step is to connect the leads to the demarcation panel, and I'm gonna mount this on the back side. This entry panel is commonly used on RVs and vans, but it works perfectly for the greenhouse. Okay, I'm inside the greenhouse now. I'm ready to mount the power distribution panel and make the shelf for the batteries. Both of those things will be mounted underneath the bench. I used some scrap cedar to build the battery shelf. All I wanted to do is make sure they weren't sitting on the ground. So here I'm connecting the leads from the entry panel to the charge controller. So our system is a 12 volt system, which means these batteries will be hooked up in parallel. So the negative terminals are connected together, as are the positive terminals. These batteries from Battleborn contain a heating element for cold weather charging. Here, I'm wiring the switch so I can turn that function on and off seasonally. Here I'm connecting the battery shunt monitor, the on-off switch for the inverter, the heating element switch, and the interface for the battery charge controller. In this case, I connected the negative lead to one battery and the positive lead to the other battery. This ensures an even charge and discharge across both. One of the last things to do with the power distribution center is to ground it. I pounded a copper rod into the ground 
and connected that to my elements. Now I'm connecting the switch and monitor panel leads to the appropriate ports. And once all those connections were made, I attached the switch and monitor panel to the wall. And the last thing to do is connect the photovoltaic panels to the system. So there it is. Everything inside is hooked up, switched on, and ready to collect power from the sun. For more great projects like this, visit FamilyHandyMan.com.